talk about PowerPoint, I want to talk about something called Actions. Now, you're going to find Actions on the Insert tab along the ribbon, and they are under the Link section. So, really an action is very similar to a hyperlink, but there are differences. So, for example, if I was to make a hyperlink, let's just say I wanted this text or object can be a, a hyperlink, it doesn't matter. Um, and I want to insert a hyperlink, I can highlight it, click the hyperlink button. And then you can hyperlink it to existing files <clears throat> or web pages, so we can do that. We can do a place in this document, so we can go to a specific slide. I can create a new document, or I can get it to link to an email. Now, the main difference with an action is that I can have two commands related to it. I can either click it, or when I mouse over it. So let's have a look at what an action looks like. Uh, sometimes I find actions to be a little bit easier to use as well. So let's just say I wanted this button to go to the next slide or better yet because we could click anywhere to get to the next slide. I want this to go to slide 5, which is the working with bullets, not the next slide, which is design. So if I click the object, <clears throat> go to the insert tab, and then click the action button, you notice you have two things here. You have mouse click or mouse over, meaning when I move my mouse over it. So that's the first main difference. Second main difference is that you could get it to run a macro. If you had recorded a macro in this um, PowerPoint presentation or you've written your own macro in VBA, you could get it to uh, run a custom macro. You can also get it to play a sound with one of those actions as well as highlight the click. So you'll notice if I choose hyperlink too, well I get the same kind of options I would get uh, with a hyperlink. I can go to a particular slide in the presentation, I could go to a website, or I could go to another file, even another PowerPoint presentation. You also could get it to run a program, which will, of course, find an EXE file and then run the program. So in this case, I'm going to say hyperlink to, and I'm going to get it to go to slide dot dot dot, and then I can choose the slide I want it to go to. I'm going to get it to go to slide number five. So when I hit OK and OK again, the appearance of it doesn't really change much. That's the other thing with actions is even on text, they're not going to make it blue and underlined or the hyperlink style, uh, which can be beneficial. So I now have an action. To test it out, I would need to play the show. So when I play the show, it pops up. If I move my mouse over, you notice it becomes that um, the hand with the little finger in indicating if I click it, something's going to happen. And when I click it in this case, there you go, it goes to the working with bullet slide. Now, um, this is useful because essentially we could make now PowerPoint presentations that function a lot like websites. I can have links all along the top. And we could do this with hyperlinks as well. It's just with this actions uh, feature, we get a few extra options. We get sounds. Uh, I do find it's a little bit simpler interface to work with. So give it a shot and you also have that mouse over uh, option. Don't forget that one. I can actually just get it to go as soon as I move my mouse over that object and it will go follow that hyperlink. So that's a little bit about actions. Give them a try in your next uh, PowerPoint presentation.